Look at them. They came back. I don't know how they survived. But that means we get to do another ant hill casting. So we've got our aluminum in the crucible. We'll light up the foundry, melt it down, and then we'll pour it into the, the anthill. My crucible is starting to get a little old, so we have a few cracks in there. Um, the lid's falling apart. So we'll have to do an update video and repair that. So if you want to see that, let me know. It looks like it's melted. Time to take the slag off the top and then we can pour it into the anthill. I made a new set of tongs for this bigger uh, crucible so that we can get a better hold of it and pour a lot more aluminum. Give us better options and opportunities. So we're going to pour it. It's all cooled down. Well, it's solid. It's not cool, so we're gonna dump this water on it. It's actually so hot that water is floating from the steam underneath it. But it's solid, so now we're gonna get it wet, bunch of water on it, help cool it down. Maybe start shoveling around it. But even though it's solid, it's still very wet. Started off with this spoon. Wasn't sure how big it was, but I think we need a bigger shovel than a spoon. Looks like it's even bigger than I thought before that too. So, an even bigger shovel. Right now we're just trying to dig all the way to the side of it, get around it so that we can get underneath it and pull it up. That's the hardest part there, but it was a lot wider than I thought. They didn't go quite as deep though. They spread out pretty thin under under the surface of the ground there. It's crazy what these ants can do and that they survived the last one. Immortal ants. So we'll see if they survive this one. We got it all out. We dug enough that it was came out pretty easy actually. So we'll finish rinsing it off, clean it up a little bit, and we'll show it to you. So that's where we poured the entrance there. It comes up. Have a little cavern over here. Spreads out into a big cavern. Multiple layers right here. And then it went all the way over here. And this, if it focuses, looks like where all the eggs and stuff were. Right there as well. And some on the end here. Oh man, 
That looks like an ant. It's kind of creepy. Oh man, there's a few more. I mean, it was an ant hill. They were in there and I knew that. Um, they've bit my daughter a few times, so that's why we were doing this. But they came back from last year. Oh, look, there's another one. It's kind of cool. They're kind of imprinted in the aluminum cast itself. But we'll get a few better views of it. And there it is, though. They came back. Oh, here, we'll do a quick comparison. This was last year's. Spread that over. <clears throat> so somehow I didn't get them and I didn't realize but here looks like the egg cavern. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. A few more there. But here's our little one from last year. And this year there were a lot more. And I could tell by them being in my yard. So, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up there. You can click on it and go watch that one. But it's amazing how much they survived because they survived the first aluminum pouring. Then we got a second one. We'll see if they come back next year. So, if you wanna see this, make sure to subscribe.